evening everyone welcome back to the channel this week my name is Priscilla I'm an Nigerian women's wear designer based in the UK in this video I'm going to be taking you guys on a trip to one of my favorite bougie shopping spots which is John Lewis John Lewis is like a department store and they have a haberdashery where you can buy fabrics machines trims is it, the price is just a little bit like a tiny little bit on the high side but i always like to go there when i want to feel inspired or when i just want to buy something as a treat for myself so i'm going to be taking you guys all the way to central london today because the john lewis in oxford street that one has been like my go-to spot on days i just want to treat myself to something nice because this year has been hmm Mm, let's not even talk about it okay i'll take you guys along with me um show you what they have show you if i get anything uh when i get back to the studio from the trip with that being said let's go shopping hey, hey, hey. <laughs> because my uni used to be on not the same street but not too far from here um, but this is the store I was going to cross <laughs> and get to the place that's the rain <laughs> they have five floors here uh, I think I need to go to number four where the haberdashery is but you can see they have way more than like you know, fashion, beauty, accessories where the haberdashery is <laughs> hopefully i don't get in trouble for filming here found it haberdashery and crafts so i'm in the store now oh one of the ladies was so nice she was like oh do you need help with anything i was like no oh, i'm just filming for my channel well i'm here now i'm just gonna take a look around and show you guys what they have and grab up some bits for myself i hope you guys can hear me through this mask because that's the life we live now, people. We have a very good selection of roller machines here. And the prices are actually quite affordable. It's like a kids one fifty nine, and they have like their own John Lewis um, own brand for like everything, literally everything. How many stitches does it have? Really good options here. Five hundred. Well, <laughs> into making hats uh, and uh, fascinators. They have all the supplies here. So like the the base, these ones, and there the hair bands, and like a bunch of roses, fabric flowers. I will read the tea today. This is actually really nice. It has 
these like pearls on it as well. This is cool. It's like an upcycle project. They have the adjustable bust form that can go from a small to a full figure. It's like the size dimensions. How much is it? 145. It's not expensive as I thought. They have it in female, in male, and I think this looks like a, <coughs> a children's. The, the bust, the waist, and the hip. That's really cool. what I got. I ended up not buying a lot of things. <laughs> My account had to be very happy. I spent like 50 pounds in total at the Lewis and I just got a few things I actually needed and other things just as a treat to myself because why not? Uh, I have a bag of goodies here. Okay so the first fabric I got is this. They called it a uh, it's 100% polyester and it is the John Calder watercolor flowers. It actually looks like a painting. I feel like I might end up using this as a scarf because the print and the colors are just so nice. Even though my initial intention was to make like a simple shirt or a simple blouse. But this is the first fabric I got. It has a combination of like pinks, blues, greens. Oh, so stunning. But what do you guys think? Let me know your suggestion for this piece in the comment section down below. What do you think I should make with this? Uh, a blouse? A dress? Combine this with another fabric? I don't know. We'll see. This one I paid... Um, I paid £16 per meter for this. The second thing that I grabbed from there was this material. This feels like a crepe satin. Um, it's polyester as well. This one I paid £14 per meter. This is a John Galdo abstract animal. It's animal prints and I've been really loving animal print recently. That's the print of the fabric. I think this would look really cool for a shirt or combined with like a black material to make a jumpsuit or to make a dress. This could be like the bottom of the dress and like the top could be like a plain black chiffon or a plain white chiffon but it feels like it's um like a chiffon crepe blend that's best way to describe what this feels like the back is plain or like white and then the front has the print on it i only got a meter of this as well because of the price one and two i wasn't really sure what i was going to make with this so i was like you know what at least a meter i can make a top I can also combine it with something else to make a full dress or a full jumpsuit if I wanted. Next up, I picked up uh, these bust forms because I'm working on a project that I can't really show you guys or tell you guys about um, until later on in the summer and I'm going to be needing this for that to put inside of the piece. So I just got this in a size medium. I don't remember how much I paid for this but it wasn't a lot. This you can find online on eBay, on Amazon, or any other like sewing supplies. It came in a size small, medium, and large. 
And I just sort of put it against myself and I was like, you know what, medium looks like it will get the job done. So I grabbed the medium. It's like a foamy, foamy breast cup that dips inside here. And then it's like rounded out. <laughs> Hope you guys can see this. It's rounded out here like this. So that is uh, the other thing I picked up. I got some invisible zips because I... You can never have too many zips. If there's something I've learned, you can never have too many zips. Zips always come in very handy. This one I got in 22 inches. It's the YKK one. I got this in white and in cream because I'm working on a project that I require these for. And I was like, you know what? I actually need them. Let me just buy them. YKK make very good zips. Like they are a well-known brand for making zips that actually lasts. And they usually have the YKK on this part of the zip teeth. This one is YKK 300 and this is YKK 300 as well. So those are the other things I got. <laughs> My pins just have a way of disappearing from the house. Like I don't know where they used to go. Whether they used to hold meeting at night, hold hands and jump out the window. For some reason, my pins just seem to evaporate into thin air. So I just got a box of pins. I think I paid about four pounds for this. Um, I can't really tell how many pins are in here, but it looks like it looks like quite a few quite a few pins. I grabbed that off as well. And then the last thing I'm going to show you guys was not from John Lewis. Uh, this was actually from Fabric Land, but I thought I should show you, and you guys would let me know what I should make with this material. So this is a it looks like school uniform fabric but this is actually like a really small hound tooth wool hound tooth material this i only have a meter off and when i bought this my initial idea was to make a pair of shorts that has like zip and waistband and buttons to probably film and share with you guys um is that something you guys would be interested in seeing? Let me know in the comment section down below. Or do you think I should make a tiny pencil skirt with this? Like, because of the color combination in there, which is red, black, and white, like, the, the possibilities are endless with this one. But let me know in the comment section what you think I should make with this fabric and the other two fabrics that I got from Jen Lewis today. This was actually a lot of fun to film. I like to do trips like this to like a fabric shop or a haberdashery just to you know feel inspired i think that's one of the things i like to do when i'm getting in a rut or i'm like in a slum i just go to the fabric shops look around touch fabrics feel fabric and i will get ideas or feel inspired and motivated to work again when i go to the fabric shops but hope you guys enjoyed this mini trip <laughs> if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up Leave your comments and suggestions down below. Share this video with anyone that you think will enjoy it or find it useful. And I will see you guys in my next one. Okay? Stay safe. Have a good morning, afternoon, and evening wherever you are. Bye.